in previous lecture we discussed about topical preparation in which we completed the chapter suppositories bisaris and lotion in today's lecture we are going to start next chapter ointment and same point related to ointment what is mean by ointment that is definition of ointment then advantages of ointment disadvantages of ointment after that formulation of ointment then method of preparation of ointment then next point storage of ointment and quality control test of ointment and as well as we we'll discuss about we will discuss about classification of ointment preparation so there are different types of the uh, ointments depending upon their therapeutic use and also on on the basis of penetration screen is visible to all Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so, ointment. It is semi-solid preparation. I think you all already use ointment. Ointment use ke liye. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so ointment. It is an a homogeneous semi-solid preparation. And which is intended at or prepared for the external application to the skin. It is applied on the skin. The external application to the skin or mucous membrane, and that provide emollient, protective, occlusive, therapeutic, and prophylactic function. Means these are the topical preparations and having semi-solid preparation, or it is in a semi-solid dosage form, and it is intended for the or it is prepared or used for application to the. skin or mucous membrane and which provide emollient property emollient means having quality of softening or soothing effect de sakte so ointment it provide protective effect to the skin then emollient that is softening effect or soothing effect to the skin and also it produces therapeutic and prophylactic function therapeutic and prophylactic function means it again act as a protect protection or protective layer for the skin the definition of ointment ointments are the semi solid preparation intended for the application to the skin or without in unction that is we discuss about they are applied With friction, without friction, lotion. Me they discuss ki lekin na hi. Yes. Lotion applied oh, yeah. without friction. Without friction. Here, here similar that in unction that is they are applied without friction. Ointment apply karta na friction force apply karai sa na hi. They just at such apply and spread over the skin. They may be oleaginous. For example, white ointment. Oleaginous means it is about their base. which base is to be used on this ointment depending on this base either they are oleaginous or no so generally oleaginous base is to be used so firstly definition of ointment we can say that ointments are the semi solid preparation and they are intended for the application to skin with or without friction that is with or without pressurized then they may be oleaginous base for example white ointment ointment are the semi solid preparation and they are used uh, to application to the skin with or without friction without friction we can say so the definition of ointment it is an homogeneous semi solid preparation and it is intended for that is it is prepared for application for the skin or mucous membrane and that provide emollient protective occlusive therapeutic and prophylactic function is known as ointment so this is definition of ointment
and some oleaginous substances they are used or during the preparation of ointment or during the formulation of ointment so their oleaginous substances their example is polyethylene glycol ointment and they may be emulsion of fatty or wax like material containing relative high proportion of water their example hydrophilic ointment why this ointment is known as emulsion of fatty or wax because there is an a high proportion of water water and fat two immiscible phase hai right uh fat fatty acids or fat or wax and water they are miscible or immiscible 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 there is they they are the immiscible that's why this ointment is known as emulsion of fatty or wax like material containing high proportion of the water means when they containing high amount of water then formulation of uh, ointment is to be done that's why it is under the emulsion because there is immiscible phases then next point ointments again definition is given here ointment are the homogeneous translucent Viscous semi-solid preparation. Semi-solid is it? Solid is it? Semi-solid. Semi-solid. Then ointments are the homogeneous. Do you know difference in between homogeneous and heterogeneous? Heterogeneous. Homo means similar. Same. Same phase. And hetero means. Different. Different things. So these ointments are the homogeneous translucent. Translucent. Translucent means semi-transparent, or they are they pass through the semi-transparent. That is translucent in the shape. then they are intended for the external application to the skin or the mucous membrane so this is again definition of the ointment ointment it is an a homogeneous semi solid dosage form of the preparation and it is prepared or intended for the external application to the skin is known as ointment ointment may be medicated or not means this point is similar like that the uh, classification of syrup medicated syrup non medicated syrup like that ointment may be medicated or non medicated means uh, sometimes if there is active api active pharmaceutical ingredients are added so this again gives idea about classification of ointment there are different types of the ointment depending on their therapeutic use as well as depending on the penetration so some ointment may having the medicament medicated agent and some ointment do not have medicated agent So they are applied on the mucous membrane or applied on the skin, and their uses such as emollient and their application for active ingredient to the skin is occlusive. Emollient as a emollient means ointment act hota. What is meant by emollient? Or soothing. Soothing effect. They produces soothing effect to the skin as well as smoothing effect to the skin the next point application for active ingredient to the skin occlusive occlusive means uh, phenotic some uh, it is for the constant duration or some duration it is not prolonged so these are the application or uses of the ointment definition samajh liye yes ma'am what we can say what is definition of ointment Ointment are homogeneous semi uh, semi solid preparations intended for the external application to the skin or mucous membrane that provides a uh, emo emulsant uh, protective or uh, occlusive or uh, therapeutic over a uh, propelatic function. Okay, good. The next point: advantages and disadvantages so firstly advantages handling of ointment is easier than bulky liquid dosage form 
लिक्विड डोसेज फॉर्म जे है स्टोर कशा मध्य जता लिक्विड डोसेज फॉर्म स्टोर इन कंटेनर्स आयदर इट इज अंबर कलर्ड इट इज प्लास्टिक और ग्लास लाइक दिस सीरप सोल्यूशन जे जे कंटेनर है एज कंपेर दैट हैंडलिंग ऑफ दिस ऑइंटमेंट इजी है सो दे आर जस्ट पैक्ड इन दी इन सच अ वे स्क्रीन इज विजिबल हैंडलिंग एज कंपेर टू लिक्विड बॉटल कंटेनर कैरी करना पेक्षा जे है ऑइंटमेंट क्रीम तो कैरी करना इजी so that's why first advantage is handling of ointment is easier than bulky liquid dosage forms so if the containers for the liquid dosage form of are the glass that the glass just steel then during the transportation specific here gave will lagte there is chances of the breaking of this glass container so that's why as considered to this point handling of the ointment is easier than the liquid dosage form the next point is they are chemically more stable than liquid dosage form they chemically stable are as compared to liquid dosage form because they are in the semi solid state and liquid ja hai the liquid in the vehicle state so that's why they are chemically stable the next point is the facilitate application of directly to affected body parts and avoid the exposure of other parts to the drug ऑइंटमेंट्स की गरज है इफ देर इज सपोज ती ऑइंटमेंट एंटीसेप्टिक इफ दिस ऑइंटमेंट इज ऑफ एंटी फंगल तो ज्यादा पर्टिक्युलर एरिया मध्य फंगल इन्फेक्शन है वी एप्लाय दिस ऑइंटमेंट इन दी पर्टिक्युलर एरिया और पर्टिक्युलर लोकल पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी जिथे अप्लाय के लिए तिथे एक्शन दाखना राइट सो दैट वाई दिस एडवांटेज इज गिवन वेर इट इज एप्लाइड इट शोज देअर एक्सपोजर अवॉइड एक्सपोजर टू द अदर पार्ट ड्रग ज्यादा अप्लाय के एट दाइम एक्शन भेटना है एंड अवॉइड द एक्सपोजर टू अदर पार्ट ऑफ द ड्रग अदर पार्ट अप्लाय ड्रग्स का एक्सपोजर ही होना नहीं इट मीन दैट देर इज नो रिलीज ऑफ दिस ड्रग एंड नो थेटिक इफेक्ट ऑफ दिस ड्रग इज टू बी अकर ऑन दी अदर पार्ट ऑफ बॉडी दिस इज अबाउट थर्ड एडवांटेज द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज दे आर सुटेबल फॉर द पेशंट हू फाइंड इट difficult to take the drug by parenteral and oral routes so some patient they they may having the difficulty to take the uh, medicine by parenteral route and oral route so for such a patient it is beneficial or suitable dosage form to take this uh, ointment and apply it over the any infection if this ointment is anti inflammatory astringent keratolytic anti inflammatory तो पर्टिक्युलर जे इन्फेक्शन है तो इन्फेक्शन साइंटमेंट एप्लिकेबल करना इजीली जो इन दोज पेशंट हु थिंक दैट दिस पैरेंटल एंड ओरल रूट इज डिफिकल्ट द नेक्स्ट वन इज द प्रोलॉन्ग कॉन्टैक्ट टाइम इन बिटवीन द ड्रग एंड इफेक्टेड एरिया कैन एनी वन टेल मी अबाउट एनी एंटी फंगल ऑइंटमेंट नेम और एनी अदर ऑइंटमेंट जी तुम्ही यूज केलेली आहे जी माहिती आहे ती सांगा सिप्लाडाइन कॅटेगरी एंटी फंगल ऑइंटमेंट माहिती आहे फंगल इन्फेक्शन घोनेजोल कोनेजोल किटा कोनेजोल एंटी फंगल मीन्स वॉट क्लोट्रीमेजोल एंटी फंगल मीन्स वॉट प्रिवेंट फंगल इन्फेक्शन फंगल इन्फेक्शन some anti microbial ointments are also available antibiotic ointment so antifungal ointment are nystatin ketoconazole ointment 
so this prolonged contact time in between the drug and infected area that if any infection is there at that place we apply this ointment and then it prolong their contact time prolong means apan te apply by application with the hand and it spread over this infection so that's a contact time drug cha and the infected area cha contact time prolong asto so this is again one more advantage and last one advantage is the availability of drug administered as ointment is more since it prevent passage through the liver what is mean by bioavailability about bioavailability we discussed in our earlier lectures and I, i also told the definition of bioavailability so what is mean by bioavailability hmm my the bioavailability you both roll number kiti hai 50 50 bioavailability hai the Do you remember what is mean by bioavailability? The rate and extent at which drug reaches to systemic circulation, that is, drug reaches to the blood, and after that it shows their action. Write down in your notebook bioavailability, the rate and extent at which. drug reaches to systemic circulation is known as bioavailability parenteral root ki bioavailability kiti hai how much percent hmm what do you think bioavailability of parenteral root kiti percent madhe asel Am I audible to all? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It is important point. Suppose tablet upon administered ke liye. After that, kya hona re tablet first list much mile ke liye antar disintegrate, break hona re tablet. Ki direct dissolution hona re? Break hona. Break hona. फर्स्टली ब्रेक होना ब्रेक जो पार्टिकल्स है वॉटर मध्य और अदर फ्लूड मध्य डिजोल्व होना दट इज डिजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस डिजोल्यूशन काफ्टर दैट इट गेट एब्सॉर्ब इन टू द बॉडी एब्सॉर्प्शन ऑकर होना है एब्सॉर्प्शन आफ्टर दैट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन होल बॉडी मध्य डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हो रहा है मैं एब्सॉर्ब जा ज्यास होल सीस्टमिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्रोसेस होते एडीएमई डिफॉल्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन होल बॉडी मध्य डिस्ट्रीब्यूट होना है डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इट रीचेस टू दिस्टमिक सर्क्युलेशन पर्टिक्युलर ड्रग ऐसी इफेक्ट जिथे है एट दैट प्लेस इट शोज देअर थेरापेटिक एक्शन और थेरापेटिक इफेक्ट एंड आफ्टर दैट दिस मेटाबोलिजम देन एक्सक्रीशन इज टू बी ऑकर so bioavailability of parental root is greater or oral root is greater what do you think parental root ni drug system circulation la pass jail ki parental root parental root so parental root directly kay honar hai tyacha madhe ha patve nar ek ka disintegration or dissolution given the exposure after that For every preparation 
every dosage form and as well as for second year study bioavailability second year madhe hi he ahe the next point okay bioavailability so bioavailability of parental root is 100% as compared to oral root or oral preparation so about parental root if there is comparison in between the parental root and topical preparation what do you think kunti bioavailability 100% asel parental parental root parental root also bioavailability of the drugs administered to the ointment me javes te apan skin varti apply karto at that time they uh, avoid the pathway prevent pass through the liver means jo first pass metabolism hai first pass pass metabolism means drug firstly re uh, when it is taken to the orally route then it get exposed into the liver and then ademe process is to be occur to pathway jo hai to prevent hota when drug administered through the topical preparation or they are given to the iv root or parental root so these are the advantages of ointment do you understand advantages yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma the next point is disadvantages the bulk they are bulkier than solid dosage form bulkier means solid dosage form madhe ka yeto tablet hmm another formulation chapter study kele ta apan evde mote preparation cha fakt naav sangaycha tumhala solid dosage form which formulation tablet tablet capsule so tablet and capsule tablet ki ani capsule ki size ke hoye asta as compare ointment bigger or smaller smaller smaller, smaller. So the, they are bulkier. So first disadvantage is they are bulkier than solid dosage form. So as compared to tablet and capsule, they are bulkier. The next one is when application of exact quantity of ointment to the affected area is required, it is difficult to ascertain the same. The application of exact quantity of ointment into the affected area, which is always upon the ointment, apply or to infected skin or the. or affected area at that time it is difficult to ascertain the same either it is mujhe tachi ji ka action honar ahe ekda application kele to te after that absorb into the je layer ahe skin che dermis epidermis tachi action start honar and if we apply it on unaffected area tar tachi action reverse karta il ka tachi je action ahe jo effect produce karnar ahe tar ti effect produce karnar aste reverse karta yete ka No. What do you think? Is it possible? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. If we apply the ointment on unaffected area, did the effect result in any other reverse catalytic reaction? No, because no. it starts their therapeutic effect. स्किन लेयर मध्य देन इट प्रोड्यूस ज्यादा प्रॉपर्टी है प्रोटेक्टिव इमोलिंग थेरापेटिकली एप्लिकेबल ऑकलजीव एक्शन स्टार्ट करना है सो देर इज डिफिकल्ट टू असरटेन द सेम रिवर्स करना डिफिकल्ट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दे आर लेस स्टेबल देन द सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म जो है टैबलेट एंड कैप्सूल कॉम्पैक्ट फॉर्म मे राइट युनिट डोसेज फॉर्म है एज कम्पेयर दिस ऑइंटमेंट हाँ कश है they are less stable they are semi solid preparations so these are the disadvantages of ointment do you understand definition advantage and disadvantage yes yes ma'am the next point is types of ointment so there are different types of the ointment depending upon their penetration depending upon their therapeutic use so in which there are various type of the ointments are unmedicated ointment and medicated ointment so you get idea from this heading unmedicated means what unmedicated means what konte drug tyachat konte naste 
means medicated ointment means they contain drugs or api that is active pharmaceutical ingredient and this unmedicated ointment means they do not contain any drug they are useful as a emulsion fakt te kay kartat soothing effect deta skin la ani protective action dakhatat manje tyacha madhe if they are anti fungal ointment ahet ta medicated madhe etil ki unmedicated madhe medicated medicated they are medicated because jo anti fungal main agent ahe either it is mistatin benzoic acid so they are added in it that's why they are medicated and unmedicated ointment what is the role of unmedicated ointment on your soothing effect they only produces emollient action as well as protectant effect the next point according to their therapeutic classification emollient protective anti infective anti enzymatic keratolytic anti perspirant anti seboric these are the different types of the ointment can anyone enlist the type of ointment emollient protective anti infective anti uh, enzymatics uh, ketra ketrotics and anti uh, precipitant anti uh, sephar reactive emollient as we discuss in the definition they produces soothing and softening effect the next point uh, protective protective means they provide protective protective action to the infected skin or affected area the next point anti infective anti infective means infected part anti enzymatic condition eczema it is again related to disorder of the skin there is inflammation to the skin and for this this anti enzymatic creams ointments are applicable the next one is keratolytic anti perspirant anti seboric so these are all the disorders or conditions or infection occur to the skin and then this type of the ointments are used anti enzymatic ointment means these are the ointment they prevent the oozing and excretion from the vesicle on the skin oozing my dear no ma'am oozing of blood or in other fluid blood was oozing bleeding clotting time tyachyamadhe jhala sel word okay so oozing it is seep out of any oozing ekala mood madhun hot asel tar te prevent karnyasathi ja ointment use kela jata that ointment is known as anti enzymatous or enzymatic ointments there are ek the examples are salicylic acid ointment sulfur ointment ischamol ointment an excretion from the vesicle on the skin manje ekadi wound zalele ahe wound maiti hai zakham infection yes the jamadun oozing hot asel any other fluid is to be seep out from this wound so at that time the anti enzymatic ointment apply kela jata and because of this the oozing प्रिवेंट होता फ्लूडन वेसिकल ऑफ द स्किन थ्रू होता नेक्स्ट किराटोलाइटिक ऑइंटमेंट मीन्स दीज आर दी ऑइंटमेंट दे आर यूज टू सॉफ्ट टर्न द हॉर्नी लेयर ऑफ द स्किन स्किन लेयर है लेयर लॉफ्ट करना ऑइंटमेंट यूज के अगेन देर एक्जाम्पल्स आर रेसोर सीनॉल ऑइंटमेंट सल्फर ऑइंटमेंट सैलिसिलिक एसिड ऑइंटमेंट देन नेक्स्ट वन एंटी डेंड्रप ऑइंटमेंट एंटी डेंड्रप ऑइंटमेंट मीन्स दे आर यूज फॉर विच पर्पज टू ट्रीट देंड्रप देर एक्साम्पल्स आर टू ट्रीट द डेंड्रप 
the ointments are usually treated under are known as anti dandruff ointment their examples are citramide ointment and salicylic acid ointment the ointment could be applied in other ways still where it is applicable anti dandruff what do you think colors hairs mode scalp oil hair follicles the hairs originated from the hair follicles where they applied the next antiperspirant antiperspirant means the substances or this type of the ointment they are applied on the skin especially in the under arms to prevent the perspiration so these are the antiperspirant ointment then some anti inflammatory ointments are available their examples are acetonide ointment hydrocortisone acetate ointment triamicolone acetonilide ointment so this anti inflammatory inflammation means there is any inflammation to skin means inflammation means burn out inflammation means redness redness swelling and pain that is inflammation so this uh, anti inflammatory ointment they are used out to treat the inflammatory condition allergic condition and redness and swelling the next type of ointment is anti fungal ointment these are the ointment they are used to treat the fungi the fungi fungal infections are there to treat karnasathi the ointment use kiya jata that ointment is known as anti fungal ointment then antibiotic ointment they are used to kill the microorganism bacitracin ointment neomycin ointment colet tetracycline ointment so these are under the antibiotic ointment the next one is anti seboric ointment so anti seboric ointment it is again the seboric seborrhosis that is it is disorder of the skin if there is inflammation to the skin dermatitis my dear what is dermis dermis epidermis kya hai layer of skin yes or no yes ma yes me so dermatitis means there is inflammation or infection to the dermis layer then at that time this seboric disorder is to be occur and to treat the this infection anti seboric ointments are used then also other types are astringent ointment so this ointment used to treat the skin cells and mucous membrane to shrink the protein precipitation means the protein se precipitation karta se penetrate karna sathi use kiya jata their examples are acetic acid ointment zinc oxide ointment and tannic acid ointment then also counter irritant ointments are available this ointment apply locally to irritated skin and that's why this ointment reduce the irritation the next type of ointment is parasiticide ointment that parasite kill karna sathi jo ointment use kiya jata they are parasiticide ointment their example are sulfur ointment benzyl benzoate ointment then next and last type of ointment is protectant ointment that is similar to protective so this ointment protect the skin from the moisture air and sun rays and their examples are thalamine ointment zinc oxide ointment titanium dioxide ointment so these are the different types of ointment medicated unmedicated emollient protective anti infective anti enzymatic keratolytic anti perspirant anti seboric anti fungal anti inflammatory astringent uh, counter irritant anti dandruff parasiticide and protectant ointment do you understand this point am i audible to all yes, yes ma'am yes.
Okay, then next point is formulation of ointment. Ointment, how to formulate this preparation? So in which name of ingredient? Screen is visible to all? Yes. Okay, the sabun the previous preparation na hai syrup kashi prepare ke liye jate. Suppose it is made kai use ke liye jate preparation sati like that same ointment. Base for the ointment formulation. Ointment prepare karta na. Je use ke liye jate ingredient. They are given as follows. In which wool fat quantity to be taken? Five gram. Then cetosterol alcohol. Five gram. Hard paraffin, five gram. White soft paraffin, five gram. So this is ingredient table. Simple ointment to prepare. करना साथी. Uh, ointment practical में आए का तुम्हारा? Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. जहाँ ले लाए कते? ना ही आज. ना ही. Okay. So this ointment formulation table for this ointment. Whenever question is asked on this point, write a note on or write in detail about ointment. Long answer question ahe. Then you have to write this whole chapter. Long answer question ma desa ka chapter write down kar ajan in detail. Then this is about their formulation. Then how it is prepared? Which is first ingredient is mixed with the other. So in which wool fat, hard paraffin. Cetosterol alcohol and white soft paraffin. These ingredients are used. Now. Wool fat. Write down in your notebook role of the wool fat. Use wool fat. It is used as a emollient. Then next, white soft paraffin. It is used as a base. शुगर सीरप मध्य बेस का होता मेन इंग्रेडिएंट सुक्रोज सपोजिटरीज मध्य सपोजिटरी बेसेस बगित ले ले ओलेजिनियस बेसेस राइट इमल्सिफाइंग बेसेस मिसिबल बेसेस बगित ले ले कि नहीं यस और नो Am I audible to all? Suppose that you want the base, then let's see it. Yes. Of course, then let particular formulations that the base, the main ingredient are here. They are important one, and after that, in their formulation, upon the in detail study, we will see. So, in which bases are used? Of so white soft paraffin, it is used as a base. Then. Cetosterol alcohol. Their use is emollient. Then next, which ingredient is remaining? Hard paraffin, right? Hard paraffin. It is used as a stiffening agent. Yes, T R W F T stiffening agent. Stiffening agent means it is an excipient which is used in the Topical preparation to enhance the viscosity. That is, viscosity increase. करना था टी hard paraffin add के लिए जाती. So there are different types of the base used during the preparation of ointment. So ointment bases are generally classified as follows. In which first one is oleaginous base, absorption base, water removal base, and water soluble base. Which bases are used for preparation of ointment? Four bases. Hmm, it is visible in your screen. Four bases. Oleaginous base, absorption base, water removal base, water soluble base. Okay, so in detail study about this ointment base is not for your syllabus, but let. Let's discuss in short about ointment base. There are different ointment base are here. Oleaginous base, in which their examples are soft paraffin. Write down the name for soft paraffin. Soft paraffin la other name hai petroleum. This one after for MCQ. 
oleaginous base means they are water insoluble they consist of water insoluble hydrocarbons vegetable oil animal fat waxes hard paraffin soft paraffin liquid paraffin so in oleaginous bases write down the examples hard paraffin soft paraffin and liquid paraffin and another name for soft paraffin is petroleum okay wait 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 another name for soft paraffin is petrolatum p r e t r o l a t u m petrolatum then this oleaginous bases they losing their importance in nowadays such as they are greasy in nature they do not help for the absorption je oleaginous bases ahet liquid paraffin he all the paraffin te kay kartat greasy in nature je ahet stick hotat te skin la and also they do not help to oozing process and also do not help to absorption so that's why they just changed or replaced by using other bases the next one is absorption base in absorption base there are two types of the absorption bases are used here in which non emulsified bases and water and oil emulsion bases the wyo type emulsion prepare karta na jo base use karto that base is used here. so in their absorption bases write down the examples wool fat hydrous wool fat wool alcohol wool fat hydrous wool fat wool alcohol beeswax beeswax my dear yes ma'am it is pure wax which is obtained from honeycomb honeycomb of bees taja pasun ya banavla jatat also suppositories madhe hi base manun use kela jata beeswax coca butter then these are the absorption bases konte examples ahet water alcohol uh, sorry wool alcohol, alcohol beeswax hydrous wool fat and wool fat then next one is emulsion base in the emulsion base they are prepared by using emulsifying wax white soft paraffin and liquid paraffin and last one is water soluble base they are commonly known as grease less ointment this question is asked for mcq which ointment which ointment is known as grease less ointment base so water soluble bases they are used to prepare ointment je ja formulation madhe water soluble base use kela jato that ointment is known as or that base is known as grease less ointment base the water madhe soluble ahe it means that they do not stick or they do not form grease over the skin that is they are non greasy in the nature so do you understand about ointment base yes mainly four types oleaginous base absorption base water removal base and water soluble base so in which their examples of oleaginous base are petroleum uh, petrolatum that is soft paraffin hard paraffin liquid paraffin and they are nowadays replaced with the other bases because they are they do not absorb into the skin also they do not prevent the oozing then they stick over the skin and they are greasy in nature so that's why this another bases are used in which absorption bases their examples are wool fat wool alcohol hydrous wool fat we waxes bees waxes shek madam yes ha madam kahi instruction hai students sathi 5 minute lecture stop karta hai 